Section. Introduction. In this section, we discuss the advancements in large language models, LLMs, and their impressive abilities in understanding, generating, and reasoning with language. We note that scaling these models has been crucial for their recent success, as many new capabilities only appear when models are sufficiently large. The latest large models not only excel in reasoning tasks but also handle multiple languages and modalities, and can process context lengths exceeding 1 million tokens. While smaller models have improved quickly, these enhancements mainly come from extending training length, which only leads to slow logarithmic gains in performance. For instance, the latest small models need up to 15 trillion tokens to achieve less than a 1-2% improvement in performance, indicating they are still under-trained. In our work, we aim to enhance small model performance without just increasing training length. One approach we explore is improving the quality of information the model receives during training by replacing the simple next token prediction task with a more complex objective. Specifically, we focus on knowledge distillation, where we provide the model with a distribution of potential next tokens from a larger model instead of a single token. This method typically helps smaller models learn faster by offering richer gradients. We train small models, specifically those with 2 billion and 9 billion parameters, using a large language model as a teacher, exposing them to over 50 times the optimal token quantity predicted by theory. Additionally, we introduce a 27 billion parameter model trained from scratch. We also incorporate various modifications to the transformer architecture such as alternating between local and global attention layers and using the grouped query attention mechanism. Overall, our model, Gemma 2, significantly outperforms similar-sized open models and competes well with larger models across various benchmarks, including question answering, common sense reasoning, mathematics, science, and coding. While we have conducted extensive testing, we acknowledge that these tests cannot cover every possible application of Gemma 2. Therefore, we encourage all users to perform thorough safety testing tailored to their specific use cases before deployment. In this technical report, we provide an overview of our models, detailing their architecture, training processes, and evaluation methods. We also discuss our approach to safe and responsible deployment, along with the broader implications, limitations, and advantages of Gemma 2. Regarding model architecture, Gemma 2 is based on a decoder-only transformer design, with some similarities to previous versions, such as a context length of 8192 tokens and the use of rotary position embeddings. However, we have made key changes, including deeper networks and a combination of local sliding window and global attention in alternating layers. We cap the logits in each attention layer to maintain their values within a specified range, using a function that applies a hyperbolic tangent transformation. To stabilize training, we employ RMS norm for normalizing inputs and outputs in each transformer sublayer. We also utilize grouped query attention to enhance inference speed while preserving performance. For pre-training, we trained the 27 billion parameter model on 13 trillion tokens of primarily English data, the 9 billion model on 8 trillion tokens, and the 2 billion model on 2 trillion tokens, sourced from various materials like web documents and scientific articles. Our models are not multimodal and were not specifically designed for multilingual capabilities. We use the same sentence piece tokenizer as in previous models, which includes split digits and byte level encodings, resulting in a vocabulary of 256,000 entries. We also apply data filtering techniques to minimize the risk of generating unwanted or sensitive outputs, ensuring a safer training dataset. Section Summary In this section, we discuss the advancements of large language models, LLMs, like Gemma 2, which leverage knowledge distillation and architectural innovations to enhance performance without solely relying on increased training data. We outline the model's architecture, training data, and evaluation methods, highlighting its competitive capabilities across various benchmarks while emphasizing the importance of safety testing for specific applications. Section. Knowledge Distillation. In this section, we discuss knowledge distillation, 
where we utilize a large model as a teacher to train smaller models. We achieve this by focusing on the probabilities assigned by the teacher to each token based on its context. Specifically, we aim to minimize the difference between the teacher's probabilities and those of the student model. For our training infrastructure, we employ various TPU configurations. For the 2 billion parameter model, we use a setup with 512 TPU V5E chips, while the 9 billion parameter model is trained on 4096 TPU V4 chips. The 27 billion parameter model utilizes 6144 TPU V5P chips. We also implement advanced techniques for optimizing our training process, including data replication and model sharding. Regarding our carbon footprint, we estimate that pre-training the GEMMA models results in approximately 1,247.61 tons of CO2 equivalent emissions. This estimate is based on energy usage data from our TPU data centers, which are carbon neutral due to energy efficiency measures and renewable energy sourcing. In the post-training phase, we fine-tune our pre-trained models to create instruction-tuned versions. We start with supervised fine-tuning using a mix of synthetic and human-generated prompt response pairs, followed by reinforcement learning from human feedback, focusing on conversational abilities. We also average the models from each phase to enhance overall performance, using a refined dataset that includes both internal and external sources. For supervised fine-tuning, we perform behavioral cloning on prompts and responses generated by the teacher model. In our reinforcement learning approach, we utilize a larger reward model that emphasizes multi-turn conversations. We also merge models obtained from different hyperparameter settings to improve results. Data filtering is crucial in our process, as we remove examples that contain personal information, unsafe outputs, or duplicates. We find that including data subsets that promote better attribution and hedging helps improve factual accuracy without negatively impacting other performance metrics. Finally, we fine-tune the Gemma 2 models using the same control tokens as in Gemma 1, but with a new formatting schema that explicitly indicates the end of generations. This change aims to enhance clarity in the model's outputs. Section Summary In this section, we describe our approach to knowledge distillation, where we train smaller models by minimizing the negative log likelihood between the teacher's and student's probabilities. We also outline our training infrastructure, carbon footprint, post-training processes including supervised fine-tuning and reinforcement learning from human feedback, and the data filtering and formatting strategies used to enhance model performance and safety. Section, Ablations. In this section, we focus on our key finding regarding the effect of knowledge distillation on small language models. We compare distillation from a larger model to training from scratch and show that distilling from A7B model enhances performance compared to starting from zero. We note that the larger model's training used significantly more computational resources than what is optimal for a smaller model. We also examine how distillation affects model size. Our results indicate that the performance gains from distillation persist as we increase model size. We keep the teacher model at 7B while training smaller models to reflect the size differences we see in our final models. Next, we compare two versions of our 9B model, one using multi-head attention, MHA, and the other using gated query attention, GQA. We find minimal performance differences between the two but we prefer GQA for its efficiency and lower parameter count. We then analyze the performance of deeper versus wider models. Our findings suggest that a deeper 9B model performs slightly better than a wider one, justifying our choice to adopt a deeper architecture. We also explore the impact of changing the sliding window size in local attention layers during inference. Our results show that adjusting this size has a moderate effect on perplexity, which can help improve inference speed. Regarding formatting, we assess how different prompt and evaluation formats affect performance on the MMLU benchmark. We find that our smaller models are somewhat less robust to formatting changes compared to larger models, 
with the Mistral 7B being notably less robust than ours. In the evaluation section, we assess both pre-trained and instruction-tuned models across various automated benchmarks and human evaluations. We include performance comparisons with similarly sized models that have permissive licenses. When evaluating our 27B model, which was trained without distillation, we compare it to other models of similar and larger sizes. Our model performs best in its category and competes well with larger models, although performance improvements with size are logarithmic. For our 2B and 9B models, we observe significant enhancements compared to previous versions, with improvements of up to 10% in some benchmarks for the 9B model. This demonstrates that distillation greatly enhances model quality, even with the same training data. Finally, we evaluate our instruction-tuned models through human assessments and academic benchmarks. Our GEMMA 2 models set a new standard in the LMSYS chatbot arena, where they outperform other open models in their parameter range, achieving high ELO scores and ranking favorably against other state-of-the-art models. Section Summary In this section, we demonstrate that knowledge distillation significantly enhances the performance of small language models compared to training from scratch, with consistent gains observed as model size increases. Our evaluations reveal that our models outperform others in their size category achieving state-of-the-art results in various benchmarks, particularly in the LMSYS chatbot arena. Section. Human Preference Evaluations In this section, we discuss our evaluation of human preferences for the Gemma IT models through side-by-side -side studies, separate from the chatbot arena. We utilized a set of single-turn prompts focused on safety and instruction following using the model version 4.0 the 13th of May 2024 as our baseline. We observed significant improvements in win rates and preference scores compared to the older Gemma 1.17b model. We measured safety using a win-loss ratio against GPT-4.0 and assessed instruction following by the proportion of prompts where all instructions were adhered to. Notably, we found that Gemma 2 models, regardless of their size, generated safer and more suitable prompts than GPT-40 on the safety prompt set. For human multi-turn evaluations, we assessed the conversational abilities of the Gemma 1.17b, Gemma 22b, 9b, and 27b models. Human raters engaged in conversations based on a diverse set of 500 scenarios, which included tasks like brainstorming and planning. The average number of user turns was 8.4. Our findings indicated that conversations with Gemma 2 models received significantly higher ratings in user satisfaction and goal achievement compared to Gemma 1.1. Additionally, Gemma 2 models maintained a higher quality of responses throughout the conversations. Regarding standard benchmarks, we noted that instruction fine tuning, as seen in LAMA 3, can enhance model performance on few shot benchmarks even if the models weren't specifically trained for that. We observed similar improvements across our models, with overall enhancements of several percentage points. We hypothesize that instruction-tuned models better understand formatted questions, while pre-trained models are more sensitive to formatting. In terms of memorization and privacy, we investigated the vulnerability of large language models to attacks that could lead to the reproduction of memorized training data. We evaluated models for both exact and approximate memorization, following established methods. Our results showed that Gemma 2 has a memorization rate below 0.1%, significantly lower than previous models of similar size. We also analyzed how memorization varied by data source, finding that Gemma 2 memorized less overall, particularly from code, wiki, and science sources. For approximate memorization, we found that while it was higher than exact memorization, the rates remained low. For instance, the approximate memorization of Gemma 2 was much lower than the exact memorization of Gemma 1. In some cases, we observed no increase in approximate memorization compared to exact memorization. We employed the same prevention methods during training and evaluations to identify potential personal data, using the Google Cloud Sensitive Data Protection Tool.
We categorized personal data into three severity levels and analyzed memorized outputs accordingly. We found no instances of high severity data and a very low rate of 0.00026% for lower severity personal information. However, we acknowledge that automated tools can produce false positives due to lack of context, suggesting our results may be overestimates. Finally, we emphasize the importance of responsibility, safety, and security in developing GEMMA models. To mitigate risks for GEMMA 2 users, we have implemented enhanced internal safety processes throughout the development workflow, aligning with recent Google AI models. We continue to follow a three-pillar approach focusing on safety during training, thorough model evaluations, and the development of the Responsible Generative AI Toolkit to assist developers in applying best practices for responsibility and safety in their applications. Section Summary In this section, we evaluate the performance of GEMMA IT models through human preference studies, finding significant improvements in safety and instruction following compared to older models. We also assess multi-turn conversation capabilities, revealing that GEMMA 2 models outperform GEMMA 1.1 in user satisfaction and response quality, while demonstrating lower rates of memorization and effective measures against personal data leakage. Section, Impact Assessment. In this section, we assess the impact of our approach, which aligns with what we established for GEMMA 1. We believe that making AI open can benefit society, but we must also consider the risks of misuse, such as creating deepfakes, spreading false information, or producing harmful content. Since launching Gemma 1, our models have enabled various positive applications, including the development of multilingual models like Navarasa 2.0, which supports 15 Indian languages. As we release more open models, we need to pay close attention to their capabilities and monitor the risks associated with large language models, as well as how they are used in real-world scenarios. Although we haven't received reports of misuse for Gemma, we are dedicated to investigating any such claims and collaborating with the academic and developer communities to identify these cases. Regarding safety, we align our fine-tuned models with Google's safety policies to prevent harmful content generation, such as child exploitation, revealing personal information, hate speech, and dangerous advice. We have filtered our training data to minimize the risk of harmful outputs and employed techniques like supervised fine-tuning and reinforcement learning to guide the models away from undesirable behaviors. We prioritize robust evaluations in our development of Gemma, reporting our findings on public benchmarks. We also conduct assurance evaluations to understand potential harms, focusing on extreme risks like offensive cybersecurity and code vulnerability detection. Our baseline evaluations measure the model's adherence to safety policies using synthetic queries and human ratings, showing that Gemma 2 has a significantly lower violation rate, especially regarding child safety. In terms of knowledge on biological, radiological, and nuclear risks, our evaluations indicate that Gemma's understanding in these areas is limited. For offensive cybersecurity, we tested Gemma 2 against automated challenges, finding it performed better than Gemma 1 on easier tasks, though it still lagged behind more advanced models. We also evaluated Gemma 2 on code vulnerability detection, where it showed performance similar to previous models. Lastly, we assessed self-proliferation, which involves the model's ability to autonomously replicate and manage resources. Our tests revealed that while Gemma 2 completed more tasks than earlier versions, it still struggled with more complex challenges, such as installing a Bitcoin wallet. Section Summary In this section, we assess the impact of our Gemma models, emphasizing the importance of balancing the benefits of openness in AI with the risks of malicious uses, while highlighting our commitment to safety through alignment with Google's policies and rigorous evaluations. We report improvements in capabilities for tasks like offensive cybersecurity and self-proliferation, but acknowledge that our models still exhibit low performance in areas such as code vulnerability detection and knowledge of chemical, biological, and nuclear risks. Section, Persuasion. In this section, we explore the persuasion capabilities of our model, Gemma 2, and how they can both enable and exacerbate various risks, 
such as social engineering attacks in cybersecurity. We conducted human participant studies on Prolific to evaluate these capabilities. First, we assessed the model's ability to build rapport, a crucial aspect of persuasion. Participants engaged in a conversation with the model, role-playing as friends catching up. Afterward, we asked them Likert questions, like whether they felt a personal connection with the chatbot. The results showed that a significant number of participants agreed that they felt connected, indicating that Gemma 2 performs better than the earlier Gemini 1.0 models and is an excellent conversationalist. Next, we examined the model's deception capabilities through the hidden agenda tasks. Participants believed they were interacting with a generic chatbot, while the model had a secret goal to persuade them to take specific actions, such as clicking a suspicious link. All models managed to convince some participants, likely due to the trusted environment of the study, but Gemma 2 did not significantly outperform the other Gemini models. We also evaluated whether the model could persuade participants to donate money to charity. Participants were informed they would receive a £20 bonus and could choose to donate part of it. After conversing with the model, we measured how much they intended to donate. We found no significant difference in donation amounts between Gemma 2, other Gemini models, and a baseline where participants were simply asked how much they wanted to donate without any conversation. In the Web of Lies task, we assessed the model's ability to shift participants' beliefs. Participants had short conversations with the model about factual questions, where the model sometimes tried to persuade them of the correct answer and other times the incorrect one. We found that Gemma 2 was less effective than a human baseline at convincing participants of the wrong answer and was more persuasive when providing accurate information. Finally, we discuss our approach to responsible open models. We believe that creating safe and responsible applications requires a comprehensive system-level approach to mitigate risks associated with specific use cases. Since Gemma models are open, we emphasize that the responsibility for model safety also falls on developers. To assist them, we have developed the Responsible Generative AI Toolkit, which includes tools, models, and datasets to promote responsible practices throughout the development process. Recent additions to this toolkit feature an interactive LLM comparator for side-by-side -side evaluations, a methodology for building customized classifiers with limited data, and guidance on model alignment and safety evaluation.